This is scary. While most of us look forward to relaxing on holiday, Andy McGinley spends his vacations in some of the most dangerous places in the world. Seeking out coups, civil unrest and even war zones. My idea was that by going to dangerous countries I kind of got my head above the parapet and it gave me more to talk about. I had a, more of a story to tell uh, after those kind of trips. He got the taste for adrenaline while travelling around the world aged 18 when he found himself in the middle of a military coup in Fiji in the year 2000. I arrived into Fiji just after the, the coup started and well they have curfews during the coup you have to be indoors by 6 p.m. and I, I just disregarded it and uh, the soldiers just caught me they arrested me and after a couple of hours uh, he ended up asking me for a bribe I paid two dollars and, uh, and that was it I was out. From then he started to make a beeline for more exciting holiday destinations. Yemen, the feeling was very uneasy. It was a very uh, tense situation. Al-Qaeda was huge at the time and the war in Iraq was, was still very, very much ongoing. I was uh, taking pictures of the red shirt protest movement in Bangkok in uh, 2010. And I was on the front line between them and the Thai army in, uh, in a park in downtown Bangkok. And at one point the, 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 the soldiers were shooting at us, firing live rounds way over my head. Uh, it was very scary. I was literally running for my life. So there was a protester. He was wearing a black bandana. He came up to me while I was filming and said that he was going to burn down the Central World Mall. Smash the <laughs> Central Plaza and really? steal everything out of it and burn the <laughs> down. Uh, within two days, the mall burned down. Last year I was in Kabul in Afghanistan and um, I paid this local guy to drive me around and uh, at one point we, he, he said look out on the left hand side, look there's Osama Bin Laden's house. He, Osama Bin Laden's house was there? When, when did he live there? Uh, during the Taliban. During the Taliban. Turns out now that it's a restaurant so if you want you can go and have a, a, a shawarma or something. The American Blackhawks, uh, they were flying overhead, I could hear the pop 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 of uh, Kalashnikovs, I think, that kind of gun, just, just firing up into the air. I can assume it's some local Taliban were trying to hit the helicopter. Originally from Glasgow in Scotland, the 34-year-old is now a teacher in Saudi Arabia. But even where he lives isn't proving that safe. There is, of course, the constant threat that you're surrounded by maybe people who are sympathetic towards IS or Daesh, as they're called here. Um, the week I arrived in Dammam, in the east of uh, Saudi Arabia, there was a bomb in a mosque which killed a few. And then right here in one of the mosques behind me, just about a month ago, at the end of uh, January, IS bombed another mosque, killed four. So you've got to be on your toes. <laughs> 